So welcome back. Now I'm going to share with you again. My objective is to teach you how the software thinks. So if I was going to teach you a language, if I was going to teach you Farsi or Mandarin, I would have to teach you the vocab, the syntax, the root, and then you can construct intelligent, lucid questions and sentences and paragraphs. So once I teach you how the software thinks, you'll be on your way to mastering the software. Okay. Now, I already have this fill and stroke selected. So if I was to select this by default, now, since I have the same fill and stroke selected by default, the way Illustrator thinks, I'm just going to hit the delete key. If I was at the L key, now you might say, why is L the oval? Well, it's for ellipse because L, so O is basically a different transformation tool. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool. Now, here's a really cool production technique. I want to draw from the center. By default, if I click and drag, it's going to drag from the top left-hand corner. So choices for options, options for choices. By holding down the Option key Macintosh or the Alt key for Windows, I can draw from the center. In addition to that, I want to hold down the Shift key to constrain that. And it's going to basically mimic the same color settings I had in a previous object. If I hit Shift X, of course, it's going to swap that. So Shift X goes back. So let's understand how this works. So right now I want to transform the object, but I've decided to undo this command Z, go back a few steps and create a new object. So I'm going to hold down the option key and draw it from the center. So I want to create this object here. Okay. Now I have an object selected. Anything about the object is under the object menu. So again, I started up the previous video by saying there are selection tools. There are creation tools for creating objects, selecting the objects, creating the objects, and transforming the object. Now, what is transformation? Well, anything about the object is under the object menu. And based on these choices, anything that falls under this category is a form of transformation. The only thing that's not part of this category that still works is cloning. We can clone by hitting Command D, transform again, or holding on the Option key to make a clone copy. Now, don't confuse cloning with copying. Copying implies pasting. Very important step here. Software is very literal. Copying is not the same as cloning, which is not the same as duplicating. Okay? So understand anything that has to do with these tools right here is a form of transformation. Now, I also have transformation tools. I have the rotation tool. I have the scale tool. I have the uh, reflection tool. And I have the um, skew tool. Okay, so very simplistically, I want to rotate the object. So I have the object selected. I can simply hit the R for rotation. So that's going to select the rotation tool. I hit the return key. It's going to bring up the dialog box for rotation. Let me repeat that. Very important step. I'm going to take my time on this so you get this into your thinking. There's three ways to use a transformation tool, but all the transformation tools work the same way. Let me repeat that. There's three ways to use a transformation tool, and all transformation tools work identically the same way. Obviously, the rotation tool rotates. The scale, the scale rotation tool scales. The skew skews, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But here's what I mean by that. There's three ways to use each tool, but they all work the same. So step one, I have the object selected. I have the rotation tool selected by hitting the letter R. Not Command R, simply the letter R, Windows, or Mac. If I hit the return key right now, it's going to bring up a dialog box. By default, it's going to transform the object, whether it's scaling, skewing, reflecting, rotating. By default, when you hit the return key, it's going to do it from the object center point. In this particular case, it's right here. If I had multiple objects, it will mathematically pick the center of those points. So if I want to rotate this at 45 degrees, I can simply hit the return key. It rotated the object from the center at 45 degrees. Now, if I want to repeat the transformation, I could simply go to the Object Transform again, which is Command-D, Macintosh, Control-D for Windows, and Command-D, Command-D, Command-D. Now, let's make this a little bit more exciting. Okay, so I'm going to hit the Return key again. And I want to do 45 degrees, but in this particular case, I want to make a copy. Now, of course, you can just hit Copy, but if you really want to impress your better half or your boss or your whoever, Option for choices, and this is all across the board for all Adobe dialog boxes. Option for choices, if there's a copy option, option return Macintosh, alt return for Windows, will make a copy. So I can simply command D, command D, command D. Pretty cool. Instant artwork. Very simply done. Command Z is going to undo this. Okay. Now, again, 
All transformation tools work the same way. There's three ways to use them. We just shared with you the first way by hitting the return key. Command period, by the way, or control period will cancel that dialog box. The second way is to pick your transformation points. I want to rotate from this point right here. I pick a transformation point and I simply grab the object and move the object. As I move the object in this particular case, I want to hold down the shift key to constrain it to a 45 or multiple of 45 degree angle and hold down the option key at the same time. Notice my cursor turned into a double cursor, which means it's about to clone. Make sure you let go of your mouse hand first before you let go of the modifier keys. Let go of your mouse hand first. So what I've done is I transform the object. Anything about the object is under the object menu. Based on these choices, I'm gonna repeat the transformation. Command D, Macintosh, Control D for Windows. So Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D. I'm just gonna select this and move this up. Command A and select all and just move this up so you can see everything. Okay, so it's really cool stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna select all, hold down the command key plus the alt key, and I'm gonna deselect this object in, this, in the shift key and deselect the object in the center. So command option shift, I'm gonna deselect this object in the center. So this one here is not selected, now I can just hit the delete key. So the shift key enables you to select more than one across all programs. Now, again, the first way to select and transform the object, hit the return key. That's going to do it from the center. The second way is to pick my transformation points. So say I want to rotate from this point right here. I could pick that as my transformation point, grab the object, move the object. As I move the object, I'm going to hold down the option key and the shift key to constrain it, and then simply an object transform. Command D, Macintosh, Control D for Windows. Okay, how cool is that? Now let's take this one step further. I would like to have the best of both worlds. This is the third way that we can transform the object. The first way was simply the return key. The second way is to pick a point, transformation point, whether it's scaling or rotating, it all works the same. But now I want the best of both worlds. I want to rotate from this point, plus I want to get a dialog box. Choices for options, option for choices. Holding on the option key, notice that my cursor turns into a dot, dot, dot. That needs more information. Control key for Windows. I'm sorry, all key for Windows. Command key, option key, Macintosh, option for choices, alternatives for Windows. Now I can basically say I want to rotate from this point. Now, let me share with you a very powerful technique. This is a technique that I've had students from Parsons, Pratt, Cooper Union spend three years going to school for Adobe Illustrator. They didn't learn half of what I'm teaching you right now because they never were taught how the software thinks. So here's what I want to do. I want to have 12 of these rotated from this point right here, but I'm not a mathematician. But I do know that rotation is based on degrees. How many degrees in a perfect rotation? 360 degrees. So I could say 360 divided by, I want to have 13 of these divided by 13. And I want to make a copy so I can either click right here or I can hit option return. So there's two, command D, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, every single time right on the money. Okay, these are techniques you're not gonna learn other places. I go search YouTube, unless it's my video, I guarantee you instructors don't know this and I guarantee you they're not teaching you the simplistic way of how to do this. Now I'm gonna select all under the select menu, select all, and in the next video, I'm gonna share with you some transformation techniques using the scale tool. So stay tuned.